In video games, there's a term called an NPC, which in said video games is an avatar the game maker creates to give a piece of dialogue or advice that rarely changes and typically railroads the player into where they're supposed to go next. Gamers typically don't like NPCs, especially badly written ones. So that term has a negative connotation in many cases. The game can force you to listen to the same dialogue over and over again, or sometimes that NPC can give bad or even intentionally cryptic information. The internet has adopted that term to mean essentially, just like how the NPC can't think for itself, neither do, the, neither do these people think for themselves, or if they do, it's very rarely. They get their news and even their values from TV, social media, or the social norms of the day. An NPC in real life is especially susceptible to propaganda, and the same will attack you if you don't consume the same and don't parrot the same thoughts and ideas that they do. An NPC can hold multiple contradictory ideas in their heads without stopping to think that some, if not all of them, could be wrong. COVID is a great example of this. They followed along the same line as TV told them to throughout the many contradictions and questionable information that was given. They do exactly as they're told because doing otherwise might make them think and make them get out of coast mode might make them start to realize that what they believe their whole lives could be wrong. But they can't be wrong, you see, because their entire purpose, no, their entire being, is founded on being exactly who they're told to be by those who run television, social media, and most of pop culture itself. And the funny thing is, those that own such are, by and large, the same groups of people. Memes of NPCs show them as gray and usually with very few distinguishing features. And to make a point, those NPCs often have a bunch of others who look exactly the same way they do, parroting the same lines. And that's just it though. An NPC in this case has little if anything to offer in constructive conversation. If you want their inpo input, you can watch late night comedians on TV or CNN. They are the same type to flock to Reddit in carefully moderated groups that believe exactly the same things they do and condemn everyone else who believes otherwise. r slash politics is a great example of this. The fact is, the world is full of mediocre people who just work, want the world's information fed to them in digestible sound bites 30 minutes of a time, and don't want to be challenged. If they do have difficulty in life, they want the quickest of fixes and to be able to continue living exactly as they have in the past. They don't want to be special. They don't want to stand out. They want to have their screens to show people doing those kinds of things for them. And the world caters to them. Local news tells the same stories with the same advice year over year. The internet is heavy on censorship of other ideas for the sake of protecting their sheep who live their entire lives tied to a screen desperate for good points. Those good points trigger a dopamine hit just like, you know, actually doing something with your life would. These people cease accomplishing much of anything, and they'll be happy. But they won't be happy if people like me exist. People who think for themselves, intentionally avoid as much social media and propaganda as they possibly can. People who question what we're fed.